Let's check back in with the Chief about what our Wednesday is looking like. It's looking like that. It's looking great. So hopefully you can get lunch outside or maybe just uh, take that walk around the neighborhood in the morning or late afternoon because low humidity is on the way. So great temperatures for our midweek. Now, we do have a first alert on Friday. Strong cold front passing through and with it a chance of strong to severe storms late afternoon into the evening hours. So you see on the first alert rain chance that we don't have any for tomorrow. Even into Thursday, one forecast model tries to bring a little bit in on Thursday night in the west and northwest sides of North Texas from some dying storms on the dry line. Don't think they're going to make it here. But on Friday, it's a different story as a stronger cold front is moving in. So rain chance is 40%, they going up to 60%. And then as you take a look at the pollen forecast, you know, it's kind of the benefit for us is that it dropped a little bit in the medium category, but it goes up into that medium high category on Friday. And because we have warmer temperatures on the way. So the first alert three day forecast 85 Wednesday, Thursday, a bit more humidity. We're back up to 88, a bit more cloud cover on the way. Then on Friday, we have that rain chance at 40 to the and 60% and high temperatures warming to the upper 80s. So with this squall line that's going to come together, already the Storm Prediction Center has this 15% probability of severe storms. Now, when we get a little bit closer towards Friday, we'll be able to fine tune those details just a little bit more. But with the cold front moving in, that better lifting mechanism, I do expect in the late afternoon to then early evening hours that line to come together a bit more. And as that does so, we have those damaging wind gusts as a possibility, uh, some larger hail. Can't run the chance of an isolated tornado. So we'll watch. To see how this moves through, and then by the time we go to about seven, eight, nine o'clock, front is sliding its way down to the southeast. Our winds are turning east northeasterly, going into Friday night and then into Saturday, allowing us to cool down from near 90 to then the low 80s. How much rain can we expect? Well, in some spots, maybe a quarter of inch of rain to maybe an inch to an inch and a half in some localized areas. So uh, it's just something we want you to know about as we round out this week. Right now, we're sitting at 68 with a northeasterly wind at 7. Doesn't feel too bad out there. We're at 70 in Keller to 66 in Mesquite, 67 right now in Terrell. Your first alert seven day forecast shows you already saw those three days. We're at 88 for Friday, and then we go to 81 Saturday, Sunday, 80 degrees, morning temperatures in the mid 60s, and then a small chance of rain returning by next Monday. Monday and Tuesday, but tomorrow it's going to be a day to get outside.